Hey guys, welcome to Pedro Lola Mendez. My name is Pedro Lola Mendez, in case you don't already know. And this is going to be kind of like a vlog kind of update on my laser hair removal treatment. And on Tuesday, I had my second go around, my second treatment. So I'm going to kind of explain what happened since my last video and up until now, which is pretty much the same thing. But. So what happened is they use the laser and they attack your face and it hurts really bad. And the idea is that it shoots like electric pressure kind of Okay, so it it attacks your face. It's violent and it hurts really bad. But eventually I'm going to have no hair. So this makes no sense. But anyway, the lady last time started on the outside of my face, which hurts a lot less than the inside. So she pretty much saved the worst for last. But this time, my second treatment, she started with my mustache and then kind of like the center of my face. And then she went on this side and then this side. It was a lot better. My mustache is what hurts the absolute most getting it done. Um, I also had her do like my earlobes. And, like, the sides of my nose, because it's unfortunate, but we all get hairs there. So don't act like, oh, I don't get hairs there. Because you do. Um, and then she also went lower here than they did last time. So she didn't get my chest, but she got, like, down into this section. The lady last time was, like, up there. Um, you can't see it very well, but you can sort of see, like, a dark patch, right? I shaved my chest and my neck and my entire face today. And you can still see, like, the shadow. And the reason that is is because when they use the laser on your face, it singes any hair that's already there. And I don't really see the point in shaving before I go since it's just going to be electrocuted in, like, two seconds. So it kind of, like, shrivels up the hair and it makes it really hard to shave. So even when you go in, like, with a regular razor to get a really close shave, it doesn't really work. So... I just want to bring that as a point for any full-time transsexuals and transgender and all people like that because it's not going to go away for, I mean, you're going to be able to see, like, this is practically just shaved. I mean, it's been a couple hours since I shaved, but my face doesn't grow that fast. So, I mean, you can definitely see the gray and even down here, like, you can feel the hair. I mean, my skin feels, it feels pretty rough. And it's unfortunate, but, I mean, what's going to happen is they singe the hair, the regular growth cycle is going to happen, and the hair isn't going to continue to grow. It's just going to, it's not going to, like, grow from the root. It's just going to appear to grow until it falls out, if that makes sense. So I'm going to have a shedding process in about um, one to three weeks or something like that. So eventually, all of the hair and the color that you can see now is going to just randomly shed. So I'm going to be like a dog shedding everywhere. But the good thing about that is once the shedding process occurs, this actually did happen last time. So I can say from experience that it will shed. And you won't really have to shave for maybe a week and a half, possibly two weeks. Um, but you're still going to have to shave if you want, like, a perfect shave because there will be a few hairs. But that's, like, a benefit to this. So you do have to deal with, like, really rough hairs that won't shave off normally. I have not tried my electric razor on it. I'm going to assume that it's going to be the same result where it doesn't really look like you shaved. Um, if I put my heavy, my heavy coverage foundation and the lighting that I have now, you wouldn't be able to see it. The reason I don't have my spotlight on is because my hair is frizzy because it's the end of the day and I want you to think that I'm sort of pretty. But this is going to fall out and then I won't have to shave like intensively for a minute. I did do my eyebrows today, so you're welcome for that. But I mean, the experience is very painful they say that it's like a rubber band snapping on your face, a warm rubber band. I don't know how accurate that is. I mean, it hurts. 
it's not it's not excruciating she says that I handled it better than most people do because some people actually fall out of the chair and freak out and scream I didn't scream I just kind of oh, 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 and just kind of deal with it um what we do is we kind of have like sprints so she'll do a couple spots and I'll be like okay give me a second and then like when she did my mustache I pretty much like the most I got was like two or three because the mustache hurts so bad and then what she'll do is she'll kind of like get in here a little bit like in the nose area not inside the nose just right there so she holds my nose she says um, take a deep breath, and then she, d d because it will smell like burning hair, and it's not a great smell, but if you have ever, like, had a candle and put, like, one of your hairs into the flame, I don't know if anyone's ever done that, I have, and it smells weird, I'm, I'm crazy, I don't know, but that's pretty much what it's gonna smell like, so you're gonna smell burning hair, but it is, it's a horrible feeling. So last time, I had a lot of swelling, I had a lot of redness, you can see a red line on me last time where they did the treatment, and my skin did not react very well to it. So this time, knowing that, they iced me right after, they gave me like a little ice pack and she said, hold it on your face, whatever, um, and then they gave me this cream and she put that on, it's like something to make it feel better, I guess, and then she put aloe on top of that. Um, the only problem with that is that my upper lip sweat really bad after, so I left and I'm like, bye guys, and then I look in the mirror in the car, and I, I mean, I have a mustache of sweat. Not cute, but of course I dabbed it off. So, that's not great, but my skin has reacted a lot better to it. The feeling that you get when you shave your face while it's still like the singed hair it hurts really bad it's not just like a normal shave where you can <laughs> I mean shaving is not a comfortable thing to begin with but when the hair is like it is right now it is painful I mean even when you shave you're still gonna I mean there it, it's not a real shave like if you're a tranny you gotta be careful and be strategic when you do the treatments like me. I mean, you're not going to be fish for a while because, I mean, people were clocking me as a boy today and a lot of times they're kind of just like, I don't know what that is. I mean, a lot of the times they're like, oh, that's a boy. Sometimes they're like, hi, miss. And so, whatever. But that's just kind of where I'm at with it. I definitely think that I should have waited to get the treatments because I'm really stressed out about how I'm going to be paying for it. Um, I thought that I would have a job by now, but I ended up not being able to get a job because I'm starting school on September 3rd, and that's going to be a 9 to 5 thing. So it's not really feasible for me to work after school or before school, so I'm really just going to have to rely on tips in beauty school when I start. Enough of that. But laser hair removal and the bottom line is it does hurt really bad it's not comfortable in any way um it is bearable um definitely make sure that they ice your face afterwards i don't know if it really helped but it made me feel better like emotionally um they gave me little packets i don't know if i can find them i think it's hydrocortisone yeah, it's 1% hydrocortisone cream. They gave me this little thing of packets. I honestly have not used it since I went um, because it wasn't as bad as last time. But last time they also did not put the, I guess, numbing cream on me after. Um, and they also gave me Zyrtec. They gave me two little things of Zyrtec for allergies. Um, and it would decrease the swelling, ideally. I really didn't need it. Um, I might take it. I might just pop a couple pills and just let it, But I really won't. So I hope that, um, cleared anything up with you. I will see you in about six weeks to update you on my treatment. Because I'm going to have my next treatment in six weeks. But until then, keep watching Pedro Lola Mendez. And I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.